Hi you guys, welcome back to Journey with Shar. Really quick, I wanted to show you the Pioneer Woman magazine. I did not show y'all this. I wanted to show you really quick what all is inside, especially her uh, recipes, uh, well her cookie recipes. Just showing you what the, what the what's in this issue. You guys make sure you can go to her website and sign up. She's got it as soon as you go to the Mercantile uh, website. You can see where the Pioneer Woman magazine is there and you can order it if you're interested but let me show you what's inside really quick. Okay, y'all stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so this is, this is the Pioneer Woman magazine. This is the winter edition, holiday winter edition. And I just wanted to go through it really quick just to show you guys what's in the inside of this magazine, okay? I had to move from the table because there was a glare and it was throwing me off. All right, so this is the content, you guys. This is what's inside of this issue which I think is a really fun issue, y'all. And make sure you can go to the Mercantile. I'm gonna show you where you guys can go to get this uh, magazine. This is her new items that are all coming out in December, as you can see there. It says it in December. So be looking for these items, you guys. So pretty. I got my eye on that right there. And these are all, she collaborated with um, Hamilton Beach, if y'all can see that information there. And this is her, oh, what fun it is. She went to an Aspen vacation, and so we'll be seeing that. I, this is what I love about Reed's books. Y'all see the decorative part? This is what I love about her books, that decorative edge. So pretty. Yes, yeah, so anyway, this is a holiday giveaway, but yes, these are new items that are coming out as well, you guys. Look at that toaster. So the other toaster was blue. And you see this toaster is green. That was really pretty. Okay, and so this is inside her mercantile store. Yes, 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 how pretty. Look at this, y'all, look at the inside of that store. Could you not lose yourself in, <laughs> y'all could get lost in this place. And look at that truck, how pretty. Yes, I could get lost in this store. That's my dream one day is to visit Ree's store in Oklahoma, I do wanna visit her. I'm a big fan of Ray's and uh, I want to see her uh, property in her store. Hmm? It's showing better over here. Yes, and these are uh, social, uh, not social, these are associates, sales associates in her store. You guys, look at the beautiful bakery, which I think is located upstairs in her mercantile store because I remember seeing on YouTube some videos of um, some people going to actually visit her um, store and they went upstairs to the bakery, y'all. Absolutely beautiful. But look, isn't that cute? Re and Lad cookies. So adorable. Yes. Okay, and then over here, I thought this was a cute idea. Christmas cookie workshop. How cute is that? And I love the idea of inviting like family and friends over to the house. You already baked some cookies and um, you have your naked cookies here and you have all your sprinkles and your toppings. And look at those pretty plates in the, the tablecloth. It's just beautiful. But I just thought that that was so festive and pretty and such a good idea to do with your grandkids, friends, family, just to all get together and just have fun, talk, laugh, and enjoy each other. I just thought that was so cute. Okay, over here, really quick, we have a gift guide that she's showing. And uh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to try to show you the information of each item just in case you're interested. And that is a shirt. I hope you all can see this. I'm zooming through this really quick. You can pause your uh, video and see if you can see. There we go. And that's for that bag. And then this is for this, and that's a good brand, the Tokyo Milk. And then this is for that. These cute pajamas, you guys, so beautiful. And this is by Soma, yes. And then this is for her, the cowgirls, and this is for the cowboys. So that's the information for that stuff. Cute gifts to give to him. And honey, don't we all know men need some hand rescue? Lord, I, I'm I, I'm thinking about ordering this for my son because he definitely, all the hard work they do, you know, sometimes they forget to add that lotion. And we got to help them out, ladies. We do. And so, yes, these are all the cute little uh, gift ideas for the males in your life. Okay. And I, another thing, y'all, we got to help them out with their manicures. Men don't think about manicure. You have to tell them, honey, you got to go get your nails manicured. Let me help you out. So this is a cute kit 
by markandgram.com. I thought this was adorable. Very nice kit to help. And even the way it's packaged, the leather, so pretty. I just thought it was really nice. And what is this one for? Oh, this is lip balm, honey. They are really serious about him taking care of his hands. <laughs> his lips y'all because when we give him a little smack you know or they kiss us on the cheek we want to make sure the lips are smooth and then also the manicure right then also the manicure leather set so I think these are some really cute ideas okay and this is for the little cow pokes is what she calls them these are cute little ideas little gifts hope y'all can see where those are coming from and I think some of these are wooden toys. I love wooden toys for children. And I'm also a, a book collector. I love collecting children's books. So, yes. And this, I would have been in this kitchen all day as a child. I would always run straight to the kitchen. And to this day, you cannot get me out of the kitchen when I'm in there. I love being in the kitchen. I love cooking. I just enjoy the kitchen. And so, this is a cute book called the have yourself a very berry christmas santa bruce and so yeah he looks a little grumpy doesn't he <laughs> but yeah this is by disney i guess and um but the illustrator is this person okay that's one thing i do love is illustration book illustrations oh love it okay this is for the cute pioneer pets in your life you little dogs and kitties okay so yes that's all of that and so we're going to try to run through this really quick because I don't want to bore y'all on this video and just go page by page. Y'all, I did this video on this book and my son said, you got to be kidding me, mommy. It's over an hour because I can sit up and talk. And I said, these people don't have time to sit up here and listen to me go page by page. So I'm redoing it over so y'all can see. This is really cute for the homestead. Just beautiful little items that you can add to your home. And so, yes. I love these vases are so pretty the color the coral and the gold is absolutely beautiful I love Mackenzie's child um, child it is quite pricey but I love it and this is um, a butter warmer isn't that cute and so that's where you can get that from these are uh, candles and um, Oklahoma tea towel isn't that cute and then these are um, books right here. These are notebooks, notebooks. And then this is really, really pretty, you guys. It's by Vera Bradley. It's an acrylic picture. I wish it was glass, but it's an acrylic picture. And um, that is where you can get it from. And it is just so pretty. And then I love this butter tub. Is it not beautiful? And that's where you can get that from right there. It's just so pretty. And then Aww. these cotton um, coasters. They're cotton coasters. And then look at this trivet. You guys, isn't that cute? And that's where you can get those from. And this bowl, the wooden bowl, you can get that from right there. Isn't that pretty? So that's everything for that. Okay, and the next thing we're going to do here, these are the gift wraps. That's a wrap. And y'all fell in love with this page. I think this is what took me so long, but I'm going to run through it really quick. But I want you to see all of the beautiful gift wrap ideas. You can get a lot of these gift wraps from her mercantile store. So I'm going to go through each one really quick. So this one is the pink buds. That's the information for that. And that's what that looks like. Isn't that beautiful? This one is called crowned cow. That's the information for that. And look at that. So beautiful. I love cows. And then this one is butterfly effect. That's the information for that. And then this one is oh, so pretty and festive. Winter berries. That's the information for that. And then this one is leafy greens. That's the information for that. And this one is uh, the rose garden. Isn't that pretty? And I'm noticing that they're starting to use roses for decorative for Christmas this year, you guys. That's a thing right now. And that's her mercantile website. If you can see, I think it's on here. No, no, it's not. I'm sorry. Yes. So isn't that pretty? You guys are starting to use roses. And then this one is the mercantile style. And look at the horseshoe. I love that. 
and then that's that that's where you can go this is the information for that and then this one's silver bells look at those bells isn't that pretty and then that is the information for that but I just thought this was just so beautiful so creative and very unique beautiful eclectic gorgeous enchanting gift wrap I just thought it was all of that in one okay so how cute is he um, I just can't get enough of this little fellow he is so adorable so this is about the family pajama sets you guys how cute right so adorable I love when families do this when you all get together and your families each one have each family has their own you know pajama set so we have here and these are by Hannah and and Hannah Anderson I remember that Hannah Anderson is an old brand but isn't that cute and this is little Sophia with her little pajamas on and then right here that's for the mom the dad they're showing you all the different um ranges of uh, for the adult the the kids and the infants okay so this is for the adults the kids and the infants for this one and this is lily really really cute how adorable and then this is just um they're using this top these two girls are using this top and showing you two different ways that they're using they're dressing this using this top okay so this is Ree's look and so there we go okay y'all this is Ree's look. Okay. I like to try to get the websites in there so that y'all, you may see something you like and you can go to it. And then this one is Hallie's look. But look at those earrings, y'all. Aren't they unique? I've never seen paperclip earrings, okay? Wow, 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 wow. Very different. Okay, and then this is Hallie's look. Okay. And they both used that top right there. All right. And then this one is called Strings Attached. And this is with tassel jewelry, which I love tassel jewelry. So if you love this necklace, that's where you can get that necklace from. I love this bracelet. Isn't that pretty? These earrings. And that The Mercantile. So that's the Mercantile website. If you guys are wondering, that's the Mercantile website right there. Okay. That you can go and find all of Ree's items that I'm showing you in this book. Okay, so there's that. And then there's this bracelet. Really, really pretty. And these earrings, very pretty. Okay, let's move to the next page really quick. And this is just some guy, Welcome Home. So it's going to show on page 54 what the inside of this house looks like. So let's get to it. Oh, you guys, look at the Christmas trees. Okay, so this is the Western Wear Christmas tree. How adorable is that? You don't have to always, you know, that's what I love about Christmas trees. You can choose whatever theme you want. This is the Flower Power Christmas tree. So this is how they're using the flowers this year, you guys. It's really pretty. It's different. I would have to get used to it, but it's really pretty. It is pretty, okay? And so, and this one is my favorite. It is the sweetest thing um, Christmas tree. How cute is that Christmas tree, right? I love the sweet, I like collecting gingerbread and sweet treats, um, Christmas ornaments. And I just thought those were really cute. So this is all what's for, y'all can see here. Let me show y'all the numbers up here. So y'all can pause that for the numbers. And then down here is what is there. So I hope y'all can see that. Okay, the next one is the flower power. And that's the tree. I'm going to pause this. I'm going to go through slowly so y'all can see the numbers. Y'all can pause it for the numbers. And then this is where you can go to get these ornaments. Okay, and then the sweet treat, which is my favorite. The sweetest thing. Things, okay. And then these are the ornaments. Aren't they pretty? So beautiful. And then this is where you can get these ornaments from okay the numbers and where you can get them all from here and that's that okay all right and that's the entire page so pretty okay and then we have the nutcrackers for those of you who love nutcrackers look at the redrum and nutcracker y'all so cute you can even go custom they're telling you where you can go custom to get a custom made nutcracker how cute to get a whole nutcracker 
of just all your family members. Wouldn't that be cute? So I think this is like one of the first Nutcrackers. I believe this guy is in the 1870s. He's an original Nutcracker, right? Isn't that amazing? It's so funny how you, look at all these different varieties of Nutcrackers, y'all. Nutcrackers are so fun and so cute. And so that's all of them. You got the bunny here. You even got the Star Wars Nutcrackers. You even have the King Tut Nutcracker. I mean, it is just so many Nutcrackers. All right. Okay, you guys. So my battery, I had to change my battery. So I'm hoping that, yeah. So I was at the Nutcracker page. And that was all that information for that. So now we're going to go over here. And this is the inside of this cabin here. So this dude's name is Cal, Kyle Hatfield. And he's in Park Hill, Oklahoma. And this is his cabin. You guys, I am a cabin lover. I love log cabins. I love cabins, cozy cabins. I just love them all. Um, and this is the inside of his cabin. And I just fell in love with his decor. I just think there's nothing I would take from it or add to for a guy. He did fantastic. I'm sure he had some help, but then we don't know. Just look at those beautiful... Just look at his decorations. I mean, he is just, this is beautiful. I love the hardwood floors. I love the color scheme. I just love, it has like a, a, a vintage look to it. And I think that's what I love about it so much. Just just look at the, um, the bunk beds. Just absolutely beautiful. And I think he said he got these bed spreads from Walmart, y'all. But isn't that beautiful? Such a beautiful log cabin. And this is his store. This guy's phenomenal. So I'm pretty much sure he decorated the, the his log cabin himself. So you guys remember the show Hatfield and McCoy's? Y'all with Kevin Costner, whom I love. I love Kevin Costner. I'm a big Kevin Costner fan. And just found out, if any of you have ever known, let me know in the comments below. Did you know that Kevin Costner is in a band? He has a band. And they made like five records. The dude can sing. Like he has a absolutely fabulous ranch in Colorado. He's an outdoors guy, which I love. And then come to find out Kevin Costner is singing and can sing like country kind of, I, but I love country music. But anyway, yes, you guys. So yeah, the Hatfield and McCoy, if you have never seen it, you guys have got to look it up. That series was awesome. It's about two families that just rivaled each other and they were just acting foolish with each other weren't they just over the stupidest stuff and to this day i think they recently not too long ago um you know they made, made up they made peace so yeah you guys got to check that out but anyway so this is kyle and this is his store i love his store you guys look at that isn't that beautiful i would get lost in his store and i thought this was genius how he used the boat to uh put his uh display his blankets i thought that was genius and look at that old ice chest i oh, love it and look at those green mugs and just the fact how he used the log wood at the i mean this this dude his little shop is adorable i'm loving his shop love it love it love it so yes yeah, so that's that and now home cooking love that plate and so let's see and this is this is what i'm looking for so I showed this, um, I believe it's going to be in a video before this where I went inside of Walmart and showed just a few items that I saw that were new at Walmart. So yes, I saw this one and I showed you guys this one. I did not see this one. This one keeps selling out. This is the one I want to get my hands on. It's so, so pretty. So anyway, this is Family uh, Meals with Ree. And she's just showing all these different meals and all these different recipes here. You guys, and this is what I love about Ree's um, cookbooks, how she shows, and her website, how she shows step-by-step step, um, exactly what each step should look like. That's what I appreciate about her cookbooks. And so, yes, so this one is the sweet and sour pork meatballs. That one was the slow cooker chi um, chicken chili. Sweet and sour meatballs. And then these are the steps for that, you guys. And then over here, we have the coconut curry shrimp. You see how she's showing each step? So you know, if your step is not looking like Reed's picture, honey, you're not doing it right. 
<laughs> you need to redo whatever it is that you're not doing right. You need to really make sure it looks like Reed's pictures. But I do appreciate, I cannot stand those cookbooks. And I have so many cookbooks that I absolutely love and that are classic cookbooks, but they don't have pictures. So you have to really pay attention to exactly what they're telling you to do to make sure that the um, dish comes out delicious. Because let me tell you, to make sure that the dish, you wanna make sure you follow exactly the exact instructions on what to do to make sure the dish comes out uh, correctly. Because let me tell you, it is a disaster if you don't pay attention. But yeah, these pictures do help. So thank you, Rick. we appreciate that. So that one was the peanut chicken with green beans, you guys there. And then this one is beef taco skillet. You guys, we have here. Mama back there like, child, I'm trying to get this meal done. You need to hurry up. <laughs> and then this one is the steak sandwiches with wasabi cream sauce, okay? And that's the step for that. Okay, you guys. And then this one is the turkey tezra. Uh, okay, tetrazzini. Tetra, let me say, turkey tetrazzini. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Okay, and that is everything for that. that and that's what I love about Re is that she shows you different recipes you never would try, and voila, try something new. This is pepperoni pizza stuffed potatoes, y'all. Y'all ever heard of that? And if you ever try this, let me know. But that sounds very interesting. All right, and then you guys, look. Cauliflower Pizza Crust by Green Giant. He's joined the cauliflower movement. And so we have a recipe, I mean, um, a coupon here. And I'm going to try this cauliflower, uh, Green Giant Cauliflower Green, um, Pizza Crust. Get a dollar off, make sure it's on sale. So this is a pot of gold. That is Instant Pot Spicy Dr. Pepper Pulled Pork, y'all. And guess what? She cooked it in her new slow cooker, okay? And that is the price, and she's telling you where to get it from. So that bad boy is $99, if you want to know how much that is. It is $99. However, y'all know the sales are coming up, so we don't know if they're going to have a sale on that to mark it down. This is for cowboys. This is a nice dish for men. Uh... You know, something spicy and smoky and uh, mold cider and bourbon. You know, I don't drink, but this is for those of you who want to make something nice for your, your husbands, boyfriends, brothers, fathers. And then this is for the cowgirls. Okay. And this one is the festive goat cheese balls. I love goat cheese. And with cranberry, I used to put it in my salad, cranberries and goat cheese. And let me tell y'all, it is so good together. They complement each other. And the pomegranate sparklers, you guys, doesn't that sound delicious? And it has, um, let's see what it has in here. I don't drink, so I would substitute the white wine. Uh, but it has, uh, what is that ice cream? That is a uh, juice on top. Let me see. Great. Red seeds, white wine. I think it has sherbet in here. Is that sherbet? Oh no, this one doesn't have sherbet. Okay, so that is that. I would just substitute, for those of you who don't drink like me, you can substitute this with like some sparkling white grape juice or something like that. All right, and then there we go for the Pioneer Thanksgiving. I love the purple, so pretty. And then look at that turkey, yummy, yummy, yummy. And this is the citrus brine turkey. That's what that guy is. And this is all what she put in. Just in case you guys are trying to look for a last minute citrus brine and you are like, I don't know what to do. Okay, hope this can help you out. Okay. There we go. And then look at that delicious gravy. And that is the giblet gravy. And then there we go, um, go with the ingredients and the instructions. Okay. A lot of southerners do giblet gravy. And it's good. Okay. And then this is a cornbread bacon dressing with mushrooms. I've never had this, but it sure does look good. 
always out to try something new. I'm not one of those people like, mm, we don't do it like that. It's just like, okay, but you know, if this person does. And there's nothing wrong with trying something new. You may like it better than what you've been doing for years. So don't shoot somebody else down because they may not do the stuff. Because let me tell y'all, I've been seeing some battles on Facebook when I'm at work. I, I put my Facebook up on my lunch break or... Um, when I have time and let me tell y'all I am laughing at these people talking about these people when they show their recipe for Thanksgiving uh, Stuffing potato sweet potato pie pumpkin pie you look down below those people are tearing these people apart That's not how you do it. What kind of mess is that? I'm like just be nice What is wrong with you people like you never know your ingredients are not all what everybody else use and what's wrong with trying something different? So anyway, this is the honey glazed carrots and parsnips. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And then look at that, y'all. Doesn't that look beautiful? But look at the purple dish it's sitting on. Isn't that pretty? And then this is cranberry pomegranate sauce. And that sounds delicious. So we got that. And then these are baked mashed potatoes with crispy shallots. Mmm. Okay, so that's what that looks like. And these are the steps. I hope you can see that. And this is what the dish looks like. And then I am a Brussels sprouts fan. Hated them when I was a child. Thought they taste like Tide, uh, uh, um, Tide um, laundry soap, which I don't know why I compared them to Tide laundry soap because I'm like, when did I eat Tide? But you know how your smell can give you a taste too at the same time? And it just reminded me of Tide laundry soap. So anyway, I love Brussels sprouts today. Mommy kept beating me over the head with them. So I guess they finally settled with my palate. So anyway, yes, my taste buds love Brussels sprouts. So here we go with that recipe. And there we go. So that sounds good. Almost finished, you guys. Almost finished. We got to get this together. Okay, these are all Reed Drummond's books, her beautiful cookbooks. Okay, you guys. Right. And then pie a piece of pie y'all look at all those beautiful pies i love pie and this is my challenge i'm always talking about how i have to challenge this you guys this is one thing for those of you who know how to make pie crust like a breeze hats off to you oh my goodness this has always been something i've been intimidated by but i'm gonna do it and probably gonna find out it's been so easy and i've just been sitting up here acting silly not wanting to try it but anyway so this is the pie recipe for that. I do know everything needs to be chilled. However, you see one pie recipe where they're using like cheddar cheese, then you're seeing another pie recipe where they're using Crisco, then you're seeing another pie recipe where they're using butter. I know everything has to be cold, but I don't know which one is the best. So y'all, give me some advice down below. How do you do your pie crust if you make pie crust? How do you do it to get that nice, beautiful, flaky pie crust? Okay, and then this one is spiced pumpkin pie. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't tell y'all what this one was. This one is the apple pecan lattice. Oh, and those of you who can do the lattice, have, oh, all those decorative pies, beautiful. Okay, so this one is a spiced pumpkin cream pie, which I love pumpkin. And then you get the battle of people saying, oh, I eat sweet potato pie for uh, Thanksgiving. We don't do pumpkin. I don't like pumpkin. I eat sweet potato. I eat pumpkin pie. I don't do. Let me tell you, I love pumpkin pie and sweet potato pie. And there's even recipes that do a pumpkin pie and sweet potato pie combined. I've tasted them all, and they're all delicious. I think they're absolutely. I love pumpkin and I love sweet potato. So whatever's on your um, plate this Thanksgiving, I would like to take a slice of both, please. This is the maple pecan pie. Okay, and there we go with the recipe with that. Look how beautiful that pie is. Isn't that gorgeous? And then this is what it says to let you know, be sure. You guys, this is the be sure advice. Okay, and then this one is a French silk pie. Mm -mm -mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And that's what that looks like. And this is the recipe for the French silk pie. Pie is just year round, just something to just, it just, I saw a Christmas story, you guys, just yesterday. It was one with my, what is his name? I, I love him. He's a country star. Um, Randy Travis. 
Randy Travis, y'all. I love me some Randy Travis. And uh, he was in a movie with Connie Selica. I don't know if you guys know who she is. Beautiful Connie Selica. And this Christmas movie was so sweet. You guys got to find out what it is. What I mean, you guys got to... What is the name of that Christmas movie? Uh, I'm, I'm going to find it and put it below, you guys. But it is the cutest Christmas movie. You can see it on YouTube. And I think I, I can find it and, and connect it down below. It's an older Christmas movie. You guys... The woman kept baking pies and the little boy kept stealing the pies uh, from, you know, when you put the pie out to air it out in the window, he kept stealing the pies. That's all I'm going to tell you about the story. It is the cutest story. You guys got to watch it. Very festive, very cute story. Heartwarming as well. Okay, Nana's orange cranberry cake, y'all. Ooh, look at that recipe. Yes. I love anything where I can get a recipe. I'm going to laminate this. Yes. And so that's what that looks like. And I'm going to laminate this. And it's by Daisy Sour Cream because there goes the recipe card. That looks just like that. So I love when magazines give little gifts like that. Okay. And then oh, almost done, y'all. So this is when you drink, eat, and be merry. Look at all these beautiful dishes you can put out for your family and friends to enjoy as you all are gathering. And just enjoying the festivities of the holidays. And this is Christmas crudites. Okay. That's the recipe for that. And then this is the Pioneer Woman information, y'all. Just to let y'all know. That's how much you will pay. But if you go to her website, it might even be um, more affordable than that. So, yes. And then this one is the Honey Glazed Ham Checkerboard Rolls. You can make little sandwiches. It's that cute. Adorable. And then this is the recipe for that. Almost done, Mom. And this was Reed Drummond's Christmas plate last year, which I think is absolutely adorable. I did not get any. They sold out. But, however, I'm going to look online to see if they have them. I think they do have them back in stock. But this is the information for the crispy brie stuffed mushrooms. Does that not sound delicious? Ah, oh, absolutely delicious. And that's what they look like. Very nice to show, um, serve at a party. These are potato chips you can do. Spice up potato chips. Very, very nice. And that is the instructions for that. And this is the one with the sorbet, the holiday punch, y'all. Doesn't that look delicious? And this is the time to prepare. And this is the ingredients and the preparation. Absolutely delicious. And I love this. Thumbs up. Look at these thumbprint cookies, y'all. Okay, for you that are going to cookie swap parties, throwing Christmas parties, there's some good Christmas thumb, um, Christmas cookies, or even just getting some Christmas cookies out. These are really, really good ideas for some um, nice Christmas cookies that you've never tried before, never baked. There we go. Y'all, I'm a sucker for chocolate and peppermint during Christmas. I love it. And these are gorgeous. And so these are the chocolate peppermint thumbprint. Make sure your peppermint is not real strong peppermint though. You want that nice sweet peppermint to complement the cookie. When the peppermint is too strong, it's not going to be good. So get that baking peppermint, that nice sweet peppermint. Just a little tip. Okay, those and those look delicious. This one is the gingerbread thumbprint cookies with dolce de leche. Ooh, that looks so good. And that is the recipe for that. There we go. Okay, and then let's see here. And then this one, last but not least, the uh, least almond raspberry thumbprint, which almond and raspberry together is absolutely delicious. These are the cutest thumbprint cookies. Okay, there we go. That is the ingredients for that and the preparation time and preparation for that. All right, and then we're coming to the Pioneer Life. And then this is Ree when she went on her vacation to Colorado. Dreamy Colorado. I cannot believe her sons are like, that look like four grown people. Like, I cannot believe her sons are that tall. Look at the baby. Look at Todd. I mean, he and Bryce is just, I mean, he's taller than mama and daddy. This is amazing how these kids have grown over the years. If you looked at her show, just seeing when, just when they were younger and just seeing where they are today. Crazy. Doesn't this look beautiful, y'all? I know she enjoyed this trip. And so there we go. That's her and her family. She's giving advice, re -ski, tri ski trip tips. Those of you who are about to go on a ski trip, she's giving you some tips here. Y'all get her magazine. You see how nice her magazine is? Really, seriously, she has a very nice magazine. I really do enjoy it. And um, 
I just love it and I just wanted to share it with you guys you know I'm a Reed Drummond fan as well um, this is where you can get like a Western wear cowboy hat he makes cowboy hats and this is other information about her trip and when she got this uh this is where to eat all that information of where to eat where she went okay and then that and that y'all this sold me this sold me that ooh, that hot chocolate with that big old marshmallow lord does that not look sinful like you have to ask for forgiveness looking at that that just looks absolutely amazing i would just devour that and this is european charm this is a hotel they stayed in that beautiful looks like you in the swiss app somewhere y'all just absolutely beautiful okay and then that's re you guys i did not know her mother-in-law passed i remember seeing an episode where she baked her birthday cake and she put it in this beautiful mckenzie's child's cake carrier and she gave her the cake carrier and the birthday cake and i just thought that was so such a beautiful gift and so thoughtful but that's her mother-in-law and she passed and um i just did not know that sad to hear that so yeah she she would show her often on the show and just was sad to hear that she had passed i noticed when she did um she did a um a video i mean i watched one of her videos this week and she said that this was my mother-in-law's um recipe too bad she won't be with us and i was thinking well, is she going somewhere else and now i see that she's she's passed so anyway this is the information about um well, this is a giveaway, but this is the Pioneer Woman magazine, so that's what it looks looks like. This issue, and y'all, isn't this cute? This looks like Charlie, right? Is that not the cutest ornament? And so, this is the end of the Reed Drummond holiday uh, issue of the Reed Drummond, the Pioneer Woman magazine. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. You guys, make sure you go to the Mercantile. I will put the link below. Make sure you go to the Mercantile store just to see what um, items they have and new items and what they have on sale. Her Mercantile store is different from the Walmart store. So, I mean, Walmart items. So, she has a lot of nice items there as well. And you can also get the magazine from that website. So, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this looking through the Reed Drummond magazine. And you guys be blessed and have a happy Thanksgiving. Now I got to go in here and cook. You guys make sure you hit that subscribe, like, and share button. But please um, hit that like button. Also hit the, the bell because it updates you every time. I, it will alert you every time I update um, a new video. Every time I put up a new video. Okay, you guys. Thank you so much for watching Journey with Shar. Be blessed. Remember, trust God. Keep him first. He'll always lead you in the right direction. Thank you for watching Journey with Shar. You guys have a happy Thanksgiving. Bye-bye.